Hello everyone, welcome back to the adventure. It's actually been a couple days since the last time I played Tears of the Kingdom. Um, today I'm taking a little bit of a break from the, uh, the normal shrine uh, game I've been playing. And instead I'm gonna kinda... I've been wanting to do a stream where I just kinda focus on vehicle building. So, I'm gonna go down to the, uh, the vehicle track down there, do the side mission there, and see what kind of vehicles I can cook up. I've been holding on to this uh, part I took from a shrine earlier, so I'm going to use that for some kind of build. I don't know what I'm going to build exactly, but it's a pretty interesting piece I can, you know, use as a base. And hopefully we'll get some uh, interesting stuff from it. It's funny when you see how big this part is compared to my shield that it was on. <laughs> okay. So we got this big part here, now I have to figure out how to get it down there without, you know, just tanking it. Maybe I can attach it to the truck. Go to shot. I really don't want to break it, but. Hey. Oh god. Uh oh. <laughs> That's no, no, not good. Okay, Wambi. Well, I guess the anti-gravity of the Ultra Hand works pretty well here. And attaching it did kind of work because I was able to, uh, uh, I was able to pick it up after it already activated it, so. Okay, we'll just drop this here. Wait, when did I fall off? Anyway, I guess we'll go scavenge some of the parts in the area, see what we can find. I have, a, I have a decent idea here. Put it like this for now. Now, we got these fans we can try and mess with. I forgot you gotta dig them out. Let me make you excavate it here. Okay. I kind of... But I think the problem with this build, or this part here, is that I think it's just gonna be too heavy for my... my concept that I have here, so I'm gonna just take a couple of uh, test builds here and see how it goes. Now ideally I would get something that I could use for this uh, vehicle challenge over there, but I'm not expecting this to be a successful build here. I just really like the I kinda like I saw some some a video of someone like or a bunch of like builds with the shrine parts. So I kinda wanted to do something with it. Hmm, this is gonna be a heavy one, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Hey, yeah, yeah. Honestly, this might make a really good ground vehicle, though. Because if I, if I put, like, some big tires on the bottom part and just ride the upper part, it would make it decently good at uh, traversing. What does this one have again? Oh, this has everything. I should just dump all my cores into this one. I'm just going to dump a bunch of the uh, large cores in here because I don't want to have to do the small ones a couple times over. I just want to be able to get a couple more fans so I can uh, build with reckless abandon here and uh, accomplish whatever. Okay. I forgot this one had a lot of good stuff in it. I'm mostly lacking the fans, so getting a lot of those would be good to get here. I really should have gone to the, uh, the construct to, uh, exchange with, the uh, crystallized charges, but... I mean, I should be fine regardless. Because now that I know this thing's a pretty heavy, uh, vehicle, I could probably... I have a, I have a secondary idea that's probably gonna work out pretty well for this, uh, or what needs to be done here. So I'm willing to bet that. Um, oh yeah, I got I got enough, definitely enough fans now. Okay, we need a steering wheel, big wheel. Where's a stabilizer? Okay, I actually don't have a lot of stabilizers. Okay, we're gonna do a couple of a uh, couple of tests here. 
see what we can accomplish with the, our resources. So if the fan thing doesn't work, which I'm expecting it won't, because this is admittedly a pretty heavy piece, um, I'm going to try and... I'm going to try and use a stabilizer to make this into... Okay, yeah, it's not going to fly like this. Oh. Really cool if I can make this work, though. Wait a minute. Hold on. Schematic. I have a pre-built, uh, yeah, this thing. I know, it's a very good description, but I have a pre-built, uh, hot air balloon with fire, which is what I need. Yeah, this thing needs a lot of lift. I just don't know how much it's going to need. It's really just going to end up being a bootleg, uh, like, hot air balloon. Mm. Steering stick. Wait, I, no, I spawned a steering stick. What am I doing? But the problem with this design already is the fact that I'm using a a hot air balloon because a hot air balloon does not last that long. So if I do this, oh my goodness, this is a really heavy thing. Why is this so? This is okay. This piece is super heavy. I might have to go with plan B for this one. Because look how much battery power I've wasted and how, how little I've moved. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's a cool concept, but it's I don't think it's going to fly here. Okay, plan B. Let's go ahead and just... Okay, got that done. I'm just gonna make a ridiculous vehicle with what I what I have here. So we'll attach this with the balloon. If I move that up there because I want to use a stabilizer down here. Does this need to face a certain? I don't think this needs to face a specific direction, but let's put it right here. Why not? Oh, I didn't even think about that. I wonder why I've never tried to do that. Use like uh, tires to make like uh, Twisted Metal's axle uh, is like his uh, vehicle thing. That would be pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure the tires are are facing the same direction. I gotta center the seat, though. That's gonna bug me. Okay. I think one of, only one of the tires is connected to the ground. Actually, that's a decent point here. So I need these tires to touch the ground. Got the stabilizer too, though. Is the stabilizer touching the wall like that? I don't like that. Get in a way that's going to. Oh, it's going to do that regardless. I guess unless I make it go back here, it still kind of does it. That's nah, kind of lame. Okay. Oh wait, was it tight? Was that it? Was it just stuck on that? Maybe that was the case. This is really a ridiculous vehicle, but I'm kind of I'm kind of imposing a challenge on myself right now to uh, build this with this um, with this particular shrine part I took from a shrine I did earlier because I've had it on my shield for a while and I've just never did anything with it. So I need a stake, stake. Okay. 
I need this to be jacked up for a minute so I can properly attach the tires. There we go. Actually, well, that first off, that's not even level. Secondly, I do remember seeing this cool trick where you could use the um, portable pots to use as like uh, shocks. So I'm going to try that. Okay. So now we need to... Okay. Honestly, it's hard to do this from a side angle. I need to... Maybe... I mean... You know what? That's a little too low, I think. The problem is, though, if I... Actually, maybe I should do this one at a time. That might be easier, honestly. I got this pot here. Okay. The tires... The tires are loose. If I can place this... Like, right here. And I cannot see. <laughs> I guess this is probably the best way to... There you go. It really just kind of, like, goes down, though. Okay. Well, I mean, it seems to work out well enough. You know, it would be a miracle if this, this contraption of mine runs, so... I'm expecting a resounding failure here. Oop, my tires running away. I have no idea what the alignment's gonna be like either. Okay, so they're both kinda up. Oh, okay. Whoops. Honestly, not bad. Um, the real issue is going to be that I have to turn it on to jump on it. Which, honestly, could be fixed if I add some kind of, like, kickstand part. Probably just gonna make the cost of this vehicle even more, though. Uh. Whoop. Whoop. Oh god, this is not looking great. I think I lost something. <laughs> Came undone. Oh, is it still going? Okay, I lost two tires. Okay. So what we've learned here, the pots are not going to work like I need them to here for this build. Should get the stake though. Where's my stake? Oh, just facing the ground. There we go. All right, back to the shop. If I can't manage to figure this out in the next couple of minutes, I'll just go do the uh, race thing. I haven't even seen what the requirements are for that particular side quest, so. Uh, this is the front or the back of the car? I need, that's an also important to know. I say car, but it's more of a, just a contraption. Yeah. It's going that way. I love how my first drive with this thing just goes straight in a ditch and two of the tires come off. Not what you want to see in a build. I would think so, but... Looks alright. I really don't know what I'm trying to accomplish. I'm just trying to make a vehicle from this part. That's really all it comes down to here. 
That's about as low as it can go, so. Okay. I have an idea. This might make it work a little bit better if I put this up here. Whoops. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. That's the annoying part about using the stabilizer. Like, you have to... It has to activate the entire vehicle to work. It's rather unfortunate. Oh, God. Oh, God. What am I doing? Okay. Well, this one seems to drive, so that's a good start. Hey, the, you know what? This seems all right. It's a little bit bumpy, but... There are a lot of parts over here, too. This is a very awkward machine, but... It might be good for driving, like, some of the uh, more mountainous areas. The real question is, how much is this uh, going to cost? I'm assuming the shrine parts and any other unorthodox, like, Zonai parts are going to cost a pretty hefty bit, because if one big battery costs a hundred, nah, it's going to be quite a, quite a pretty penny here. Okay, let's see what we've got. Oh, this only costs 15? Wow, that's actually, okay, that's, so this thing only costs three to make. Actually kind of insane. Well, let's see what the challenge is here. I'll try and use my vehicle here. They want us to race the track. Okay. Oh, there's like a, a quarter pipe there. Oh. Hmm. Honestly, I think um I, I think before I stream next time, I think I'll I might I might try and do this another time. But um I definitely want to collect a bunch of shrine parts and see what kind of contraption I can build cuz the shrine parts seem like they're the most interesting thing to build with. Oh, I have to attach their steering stick. What do they want you to use that specific one? Going. Okay, game. It's my steering stick isn't good enough. Okay. Hold on. Fix it. I must disassemble the entire thing. Honestly, I think this device might be, might not be the most, well, hold on. What it really needs is just to have this active. Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. Nope, nope, nope. Out the jump. Hey guys, I stopped my vehicle. I really just need to find a way to stop it from falling over. That should be enough to let them or allow them to let me use my vehicle. Okay, so let's try and use these as stabilizers. Really, that's all it comes down to, is just stabilizing. But it's also going to make the vehicle crap to drive. Which, you know, I'm not looking forward to that. Unless... Hold on. No, no, it's going to have to be, like, to the ground, unfortunately. For the most... Wait, I... My, my, pers my perspective is not doing so hot. Okay. Uh... 
that, maybe. Okay. Good. Oh, jeez. Okay. I didn't think I was going to have to engineer this just to get in the race. Can you... You are the worst. I was just trying to fix my vehicle. Oh, they take my steering stick? They sure did. Ugh. I'm trying to stabilize this, stabilize this lady. Is that balancing? I don't think it'll hold. If it doesn't hold, it was never meant to be. I'm kind of annoyed she just came to take that steering stick uh, before I was even done with my my building, but you know. Well, I guess. Okay. Okay. Now. My impromptu kickstand. Aha! Progress. Can I grab this damn thing, please? I do not expect this to drive well at all with these kickstands on, but... Sacrifices had to be made. Oh, damn it. Oh, you, you call that good? Well... minutes okay oh this is at an angle oh no this is not gonna be good <laughs> oh no well i mean maybe i can make it work i really hate i would just let me do that with this uh steering stick being all like angled but they wouldn't let me do it when the thing was like sideways so i had to make these ridiculous kickstands on it which I guess does make it a little bit easier to use, but... Oh boy, how many more of these are there? Not too many. Honestly, this course is... It seems like it's designed to be pretty easy if you, even if you build the biggest abomination. You probably make it like a Gundam that's autom automated and still to get it done. It's really not that high of a bar. At least the steering wheel wasn't that big of a hindrance. Honestly, this wasn't too big of a hindrance here. Oh, well, it, it kind of got stuck on the kickstands a little bit, so. Okay. Ah, oh, really? All that for... I'm kind of weird that the, the Gerudo are like the... Uh, I guess they're going like, to... If they were to make another Breath of the Wild game, like, are they just going to make the Gerudo like grease monkeys and make this like just full steampunk? That'd be kind of an interesting vibe. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's see the courts. Uh, I wonder. Hmm. What's the time for this? That's, the, that's what I want to know. Because if it's going to be, like, a shorter time. Okay, so I got this done in a minute with my abomination. Okay, fine. Expert. Right, I probably should have fixed the steering wheel, huh? 
Ah, uh, three minutes? Hey, what? More time? I mean, I wasn't expecting that much, but I thought they'd at least, like, lower the time or something. I mean, this could be hard for all, for all I know, but... I mean, you do kind of have to maneuver a little bit, so maybe that's the added difficulty, but... I guess part of the difficulty is, like, you're driving through the marshland, which you have to have big tires or, like, the one of the flying contraptions to get through. Not to mention you have to worry about battery capacity, but since I've maxed that out, it's just, like, a non-issue. All in all, this is a decent abomination of a vehicle, so... It's not something I would use, like, in regular use, but, you know, kind of an interesting gimmick. I'd love to be able to craft, like, a warship or something, but... These shrine parts aren't actually that expensive, though, so that's that's probably the biggest find of this, uh, this building session here. Okay, let's turn over here. Yeah, this is still, like, super easy. I don't know what I was expecting here. Like, if they made it, like... I guess I couldn't have done a minute, but... I mean, they could have, but... It would have been very tight, even with, like, the, the glider air bike. Alright, and we have arrived. A uh, minute 35 is my time. That's it? Yeah, I'm not interested. Well, I mean, okay. I came up with this kickstand thing, and uh, oh, I need to take off that other steering wheel. Hold on. Is they're gonna go? Wait, you're stealing our steering wheel? How could you? There you go. Oh, did I lose my actual steering wheel? I guess I can go fetch one over here. First. Steering wheel? Oh, there's one. I knew I picked up a steering wheel earlier when I was trying to do the, or test the, the build cost. This, I mean, the kickstand does make it at least easier to get on here, so that's nice. Okay, I actually thought of a scenario where this might be a useful vehicle. If I try and drive in water, it might be able to manage because I'm above water and the controls wouldn't be affected. You know, I'm going to test that right now. I mean, worst case, I just, you know, get it stuck or whatever. But... So far, it's proving to be very helpful. I don't remember how deep this water goes, but... Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, it's actually coming here. You know, if I'd kept going, it might have been good, but... Okay, well, we'll try and pick it up. Honestly, though, it did dry pretty well in the, the surface area of the water, so... This might be a good thing to save in my uh, history, just so I can have it. Might be a little annoying to get. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Get up. See, I was wondering if I could, like... This might... I, I thought this vehicle might be useful if I were to, um, like, stop in the middle of the water and, you know, want to, like, do something in the water, like, get a chest or something like that, but... I mean, the only real... The only thing it's really useful for so far is just being able to drive on water, but I guess a boat kind of accomplishes that just as easily. I don't know. It doesn't do the whole, like, multi-terrain thing as well as I would have hoped. I mentioned I am kind of, like, drowning, but... Must be stuck in a pit or something. 
conceptually, it's very interesting, but honestly, I had high hopes for this being like a some kind of cool like aerial vehicle, but it's just too heavy. On, like, I've been trying to think about how I can store these um these parts, but I think the easiest way would be to like fuse them to like weapons and put them in my storage, but then I have to equip them and uh, come back to the, the Goron guy and have him break things apart for me. Thank goodness. What a pain this is. I think you know what keeps trying to like get on the vehicle, but he keeps drowning. <laughs> you know, but you can't swim. There we go. That was a massive pain. Those monsters? Go ahead and uh, Majora's mask it. Yeah, I think I think the uh, the bottom. Whatever, like the surface area, the the water is kind of making me turn crazy. Can I please just get out of the water, please. Oh, I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Rip bird. Oh, it's this guy. I want to help him. You know what? Oop. Okay, my kickstands aren't as uh, perfect as I would have liked them to be. <laughs> Honestly, this is a, de a half decent, like, impromptu build here, so. <laughs> Definitely not a masterwork, but. For making a or setting a goal of making a vehicle that functions with this piece, I think it's a an all right success. Is it the favorite thing? My favorite thing that I built? Absolutely not, but. Call it an acceptable build. So. Oh, I gotta this up here. Hey, buddy, can you not see me with Majora's? Oh. Try letting go. Oh. I mean. To be fair, I didn't really see that as a possible outcome. Okay, uh, take two, I guess. Wait, can I just... Oh, wait, right? Let's go ahead and slide this under. That should be pretty foolproof. Ah. Or not. Not enough not enough weight in the base. I almost had it. Honestly, I just need to do what I did for the, the vehicle, like have some kickstands for my show. It's over here. Toss it all the way over here. Okay, get on, go, get on there, get on there. Okay, there we go. I used up all the other ones, but that's fine. Should be fine. Oh, that's that, no, that's too much. I think too much of a pivot. Oh, jeez, come on, game. Please, please. Making this poor carpenter tremble in fear. Yeah, it actually, Link does it to everybody in this game. Like. Construct said it best. Your your actions are an a threat or whatever. Okay, I think we're good. Good hold it. Unless this thing falls in a way I have not predicted, but. Try letting go. There we go. What? 
What? That was not a fall. Dude, you need to chill. Oh, man, this is insane. Okay. No. Go. Okay. There we go. It should not fall. God, if this falls, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Oh my god. Do I have to make a jungle gem just to keep this thing in, in place? Hey, 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 game. Okay, we need to remove. We're just gonna lock it in place because I'm getting tired of this. This here. No, 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 no. No, no. Not yet. Come on, get on there. Oh my goodness. I'm just trying to get in that groove there, and it's being difficult. Just a bit. Yeah. There we go. Or not. Get in there. Oh, it can't get in there because of... God. Okay. Don't need that done. Get rid of that. Uh, get in there. Get in there. Okay. In there. Hey. This is really a Frankenstein build for something that should have been done like you know, five minutes ago, but. All right, letting go. I think that counts. All right, man, this was uh, definitely a wasteful endeavor here, but you know. Cool. It's actually a pretty good one. Probably one of the better food items I've gotten from it. Hey, bomb flower. You know what? That's bomb flowers are definitely worthwhile. So even if it is just one. Anyway, let's uh back to it. Can I back up a bit. Anyway, I kind of drive around for a little bit longer, see what I can find. And I do wonder, like, how these people that have built like these insane, insane builds have done so. I also, I just noticed an interesting thing about Unobo. Like, he's he's uh he's going down there, but I can't even shoot him off because he's not close to me. I guess whenever it comes to like unique ar architecture like this, like it um it doesn't know what to do, so he's just kind of doing whatever here. I have an idea for a unique challenge. What if I, think I could drive to the center from here? Might be too deep. Go a shot though. As long as I don't get off, I should be fine. Oh, is that a Lizalfos? Somehow sees me, even though I'm wearing Majora's Mask. Honestly? For this kind of stuff, it is pretty useful. 
Uh, I, did, I did topple the thing again, but... All right, well... If I accomplish that goal... Stand it up and go back to the... Oh, wait. Ooh, okay. An opportunity has presented itself. So, I, I meant to come back to these pirate ships because I knew it was uh, they were over here, but I just never did, so... I think I'll, I'll take this vehicle over there and uh, try to engage pirates. Huh? It might be better to move the um, the stabilizer down there, though, because that way I can just kind of jump on forever. The stabilizer. stabilizer. I mean, it could probably fit on. Yeah, you know, it could just go down. Actually, does it have to actually be stable? I know it's a dumb question, but... Okay, that should be fine. It's a decent vehicle. I think I'll keep it around until I find something I like better. I mean, it's not the most useful vehicle, but it definitely has some utility in it, so... So, I don't expect to be able to make it to the pirate ship with this, but I'm going to certainly try. I actually don't know if there's anything on these pirate ships, but I think it's a decent goal to go for. I guess there's my backup plan if this uh, doesn't work out so well. I can't shoot Unoba, that's like the biggest draw of this vehicle, but honestly, Unoba just kind of gets in the way, so more often than not. But this is the real test of this vehicle's prowess here, so... Because I know I can handle a certain level of deep water, but this is kind of like the ocean, so I might... Oh yeah, this is not looking so hot. Unless... Uh... <laughs> Yeah. Go back. Oh, I think I stopped touching the depths. Okay. So this definitely can't handle this kind of uh, depth here. So I think our journey ends here, guys. Ow. Dude. There she goes. I think it's too deep for me to even try and retrieve it. Yeah, it's, it's gone. Alright, well, that was a fun adventure. I might be able to drive on, like, Lake Hylia or something with that vehicle, but... Definitely can't drive on ocean, so... Thoroughly noted. And let's go ahead and take a trip to the sky. Does this actually have some islands I can get to, or I don't know if I I'm at uh maybe I mean I've probably already thoroughly explored the sky at this point, but Or this is the max height. Okay, yeah, it's not the max height. Fair enough. Well, that was a fun vehicle building adventure. Like, it definitely wasn't the most, you know, wasn't the most useful vehicle, but it does have some utility, so. Plus, I don't think anyone else has built something with that part. I mean, I could be totally wrong about that, but. I, I'm pretty sure, like, at this point, people have had enough time to dissect, like, every single feasible part and what's optimal for vehicles. Like, I don't know. It just seemed like a cool part to mess around with, and uh, that's why I went and got it. It's gonna, like, hot drop in here and see what's up with these pirate ships. Uh, should I go for the further one? The further one probably has the strongest enemies, right? I'm just gonna hot drop in. No regard. Oh, wait, I was using my fiver? I shouldn't be using that bow. Using one of these trash bows. 
Well, yeah, I need to switch on to my defense here. I don't have any Lionel Blades. I mean, I probably won't need them, but... Pretty good alternative, I guess. Oh, yeah, I fought the Lionel Coliseum, but I never fused the, the horns, I guess. I did do my Amiibo scans, so I have a decent sur surplus of uh, blades here. Where we go? I need to hit the Aracudas, and I can. Oh, that's a fire piece. One down. Can't aim far enough down, that's the real problem here. Uh, that's a treasure chest I have to... I got both. Yeah. Oh, that's... I'm about to go. Hey! Honestly, I'm surprised I never came back here, because I, I guess I, I, I saw this pirate ship before, but I just never really... Uh... Oh, it's a weapon. I just never really connected the fact that it was uh, not tied to the uh, other pirate ship quest. Him has a real uh, monster pirate uh, problem. It would have been so much cooler if I'd been able to ride my vehicle over here. That's like my biggest regret so far. Oh, this is about to break too. About to have a fusing session to get my arms back up to speed. Oh, wait, this is uh, out. It's just the regular spike ball on here? Really? I mean, why not, right? It's really not that big of an upgrade, but it's something. Okay, Lionel Smasher. Get that out of the way. The annoying part is I'm gonna have to come back to this ship to do the um to the, do the treasure chest, but Oh, there's ladders in the back. Okay, that's, that's good enough. Nope. At least they weren't uh, terrible at the design. Oh, there's like a coastal breeze here. Oh, oh. No, shut up. Oh, that was a really... Oh yeah, I forgot they all have horns. Because why wouldn't they? Dead. Of course, I got a damn white one. Or silver. Always with the silvers. Yeah. Do the Master Sword until that breaks. Wait, what the? What the hell happened to him? Did Tulin just like tr uh, three tap him while I wasn't looking? Because their health went down way too fast. Goodness. Uh, where's the last one? Oh, here's some uh, loot I can steal, I guess. Oh, just a bunch of fish. Bad, I guess. It's actually not a bad bow, but I have better. Actually, a pretty good trash bow now that I think about it. But I kind of like the. Uh the Zonai bow that I have, because you could charge it up to get a uh, longer range. Is he? Oh, he's right there. Okay. Come on. Here we go. Surely raiding pirates will be worth my time, right? I mean, I'm hoping the worst case is like a hundred rupees, but... More TNT barrels. There are quite a few. Okay. So, I need to see what is in my schematics so I can you know, get rid of some of this stuff. Schematic. Schematic. Okay, I have this one. I have a very... I have a goal here. Oh. I go 
I got rid of that. It's all part of my plan. I'm gonna try and make a powder keg. So in order to do that, I need to group up several of them. Okay. Yes, I do. Boy, that's... I don't want it to drop an explode. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, my. Okay. You know, maybe using auto build to build barrels is a very bad idea. Or maybe trying to build them on this, like, uneven ground. Did I blow up all of them? Really? Oh, man. That's unfortunate. It was a bad idea, but I guess we're gonna try again, right? Can't stop there. Just look at this. Can I build it here? Oh, I can, okay. Got one set. Making a we weapon of mass destruction. I'm going to test it later. Okay. And I need one more three set. It's going to be a super explosion. I'm half tempted to go try and find an enemy with this uh, nine, nine set of uh, barrels. Oh, I can't really reattach it now that it's like that, but... Okay. I got this nice little cluster here. I can get rid of... Get rid of this one. Okay. This might kill me. Oh, man. I want to try this so bad, though. I have a... Alright. Oh man. I guess I need a bomb. I could use a time bomb, I guess. I feel like I'm going to get launched to the ceiling if I do this, but... Okay. I, I, would, I feel like I should save before I do this. Because I think I'm either going to die or I'm going to get blasted so high in the sky, it just, you know, the game's over. Oh, man. That was very lackluster. Good night. Let's see. Oop. I'm trying to think of a way to trigger this without. What if I use a fire fruit? Maybe that would work. <laughs> Seems like a very uh, move. Inedu, please. This isn't working like it was supposed to work in my head. I'll just, you know, really keep this on. I. Well, again. For some reason, I thought if I, you know, had all that, um, had all that, those resources, I would be able to just, like, blast myself sky, sky high, but. I guess they probably have fail saves for that because they don't want to. Oh, man. Teleport me back here. That's Hey, we're gonna just craft our usual photo transportation here and be on our merry way. Oh yeah, I forgot I remade the uh, bike, but I also found out the uh, Korok leaves kind of disappear, so... Ow. You little bastard, I don't want to fight you. Go away. Okay, it doesn't matter. You're, you're not an issue now. Anyway, uh... Uh, I think this is the last group of pirates in this game, so. No more pirates. 
There were four individual sets of pirates in this game. There was the group we raided with the knights. There was the pirate quest. There was the one in the cave on the Far Shore Island or whatever it's called. And then there's this uh, fleet over here. Did that shrine already? So that's good. A uh, blue Henox hammer. I actually have room in my inventory, so yeah. Not really worth it, considering I gave up a better weapon. That. No. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, it's the it's the breeze, I guess. I just need to have some good weapons on my inventory person so I can dish out the pain if I need to. Now I think the Lionel Coliseum's out for the oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh can I can I finesse this into the ship? Oh shit. Okay. That was fun. Oh, it's just kinda wedged there too. Well, if it's like the other ship, it should have a ladder in the back, right? No. Oh. oh, this is the front of the ship. Oh, well, that's not good. I can still kind of get up there. I really want to try and experiment with the, the powder keg I made. Oh wait, can you? Are these the part you can build with? Oh, it is. Hmm. So I know I have a perfectly good vehicle here, but you know, I do want to do more experimentation and uh, we have a pretty good part here for that. So. So this has a uh, little indents here to stand up, which in turn makes it pretty good for uh, having something underneath. Let's try, try three fans. Three fans. Ring stick. Yeah, that should be good. It's gonna be a waste, but for science. Probably do it like that. Oh, it needs to be a little more. I guess the center is going to get there. Okay. Oh, it actually attached to the hook. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, that's. Actually, I have them. This might actually fly. This might just be a pseudo uh, air bike, but you know. Didn't I go flying by now? Honestly, that's the one thing I still don't get about building, like the w how the weight mechanics work in this game. Sometimes I think I get it, but then I just clearly don't. Yeah, let's do... That's three fans. It already makes it less efficient than any of the, the default, like, air bike or lighter. Maybe? Maybe? I mean, I'm kind of hovering, but... I mean, I'm kind of flying. I'm kind of just... This is more like an actual, like, hoverboard where you... That you can build in real life with the... Like, wood, duct tape, and an air blower. That, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. 
Also, this should be extremely flammable, so I'm not really uh, doing so hot here. And... I really want to do more with the experimentation, but... What if that would work? Okay, so now the reasoning is that because the cart's gonna disappear, because it's one, it's something I can confirm it will disappear from over overuse. The wooden part should be good to go for an extended period of time, but also possible they programmed it to where it would, just, just all the same. <laughs> Why is that one so much higher? Never thought I'd be in the middle of the ocean trying to science up a ride, but here we are. Honestly, just attach yourself to the other fan, whatever. Should be fine. Right? Oh, right in the fire. What a fitting in. Okay. I've had enough of this. Man, engineering's pretty rough. Guess I'll go back to this build. Right in the middle of a storm, no less. Oh, great, I gotta worry about the beginning of a storm. That's why I keep the Zonai bow. It's one of my few non, uh... Oh, wait, are my shields? Oh, my shields are... Oh, wait, no, I do have... That's why I try to keep one Zonai item on me at all times, because if it comes down to something like this, then I don't have to worry about being electrocuted. Of course, in this case, all my, all my items are electric, because I stopped carrying the wooden boomerang around. Uh, well, at least I can do that. I do still. Okay, do I, st I still have a sword. That's all I care about. Oh boy. Sure would suck to get stuck with a random bolt there. Well, I mean, I'd love to see a boss or something. Wait, have I actually explored a cave over here? Pretty done the shrine in this area. I mean, I guess I could have a bubble frog or something. Yeah, that's definitely a new cave, but I'm not really interested in doing that. Oh my goodness. That's kind of the issue with uh, caves for me. Like, you know, once you stop caring about Colton or Kilton, I forgot his name, the brother that wants the bubble gems, like, once you, you know, you, you don't want his stuff anymore, I think a lot of the caves kind of lose their, you know, appeal. Like, if there was some decent reward in his pool, then I'd be all about it, but I'm just not really interested in trading for, like, subpar monster parts at this stage of the game. Like, Korok still have a purpose, because you get more inventory space. Um, most other side quests, will have, you have a decent chance of getting something. Is, is that a great fairy? I never. Have I never been here? 
What is this? I've never, I never knew this was here. Well, I guess we'll check it out. Hey, it looks like a great fairy. Hello. Endura carrot? Okay. I don't know what this is. I mean, it looks like a great fairy, but... Is it gonna be like a monster, or...? Oh god, this is like the dark fairy. Oh lord. Oh, okay. Majora's fairy? Oh, it's... Oh. Oh, it's the horse god, isn't it? You have to get specific me oh that's annoying. Okay, well that's what that's about. Oh, it plays a bonus song and it plays a bonus song, but it also plays the great fairy thing. Well that was interesting. I probably wouldn't have gone to explore that otherwise, so kind of a cool thing to stumble on. Honestly though, the uh, revive condition or the enhanced conditions are just so annoying to do though. Oh. Alright, another one of these little bastards. Okay. Alright. Much pull on that side. I gotta fix that. There's a little more center. Oop. No, I don't want to talk to you. Oh my goodness. Go up, go up. Be alright. Honestly, this. Oh, okay. Spoke too soon. I'd say this is a lot easier than uh, when I use the. Uh, I use everything else, but. Well. Oh, that's, uh. Out. Can I just catapult him up there? Hey, the schematics. I don't need that. Just do that. I'm gonna just try and ramp this up and carry the little Korok up there. It'd probably be a lot easier. This might be a uphill battle here. Oh my goodness, he's uh, 
It lags so much when I try and turn this bridge. It lags this much. Why'd they even make this a schematic? Then what were you thinking? I can't even straighten it out. Oh my goodness. You know what? That looks alright. Can I? Honestly? It makes more sense, actually. Let's just do that. See you at the top. I guess I can't do that. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll go pick up the bridge and bring the Korok up there, so... The rain's gone. Oh, he's still a little further away, but it shouldn't be. Did you? Okay. Pick you up, little friend. Boop. under my bridge. Yeah, that sounds about right. Currency, please. Yeah, I have enough for an upgrade. I really decide what I want to upgrade, but where the bridge go? Oh, popped it over that way. Uh, so long. Yes. Jeez. Going with a teeter totter here. Certainly done a lot of uh, building experimentation. Not all of it's successful, but you know, it went them all. Oh, that's way too. It's cost twenty one now. I wish I had some more. Wait, I do. I do have some other car builds I can use. I guess. Got uh, mono psych. Yeah, this is probably the best one for this then. Oh, come on. I'm gonna fight you. Jeez. Go away. Oh, hello. See ya. Forgot about that. Sure. There you go. There you go, man. They always show up just ready to ambush you. I've used this, I've used something else to that. Do I have any trash weapons? I mean, I guess I kind of have that uh, one weapon I picked up, but. Blue Hinox Hammer. I don't really want that. Anyway. Why is it zooming? Oh my goodness. 200 CC? Come on now. I'm trying to line up with the ramp, but what?
I just want to go ramp off something in this game. That's all I'm trying to accomplish here. All right, here we go. What could possibly go wrong here? We Honestly, that wasn't that bad of a fall damage hit, but... Okay, well, that was certainly exciting. Back to the classic. I really just want to drop bombs on something. Also, I've already used 100 Zonite just this, this stream alone. I was like, oh yeah, 250 Zonite is going to be enough for the rest of my time in this game. Oh, how naive I was. This would help if I actually, like, you know, find off stream or something, but... I'm still just going off my basic reserves because I never duped Zonite once. I've never duped anything, actually, but... I'm sure the people that duped Zonite are still rolling in it, but... I am not one of them. Oh, that... Okay, so that, that continent over there is inaccessible. Okay, so this is literally the edge of the world. Good to know. Never actually been this far uh, northeast. I, mean, I could look for some shrines in the area, but I think I've hit up a lot of the shrines in this area. I, I oh, that's my seal. Okay. So there's one right here. Oop. I'm just doing a quick little inventory to see if I can find some shrines I need to do, but wait. How did I get this one? Oh wait, it's it's below the mountain, so I guess that makes sense. But... This one I haven't gotten. Which is actually really close to Link's house. I'm surprised I missed that one. Oh yeah, I'm still missing a treasure too. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just go get that real quick because uh, I'm kind of hoping it's going to be the um, set of the wild, but all right, I saw the depths map. I need. Honestly, this stream is one where I. The first one in a while, I could say I haven't really accomplished anything, but I've just kind of just, you know, been having fun with the mechanics. Hopefully you guys don't mind, but... I think I'll probably do another stream like this uh, toward the end. Um, I'm definitely going to do, like, probably, probably a shrine stream next time I play, but... What is that? It's going natural. This, this has got to be a Korok. No shot at it. Not? Oh. What is Boulder for? That's so bizarre. What is this? Looks like it's part of a puzzle, but... I get a high look at it. There's a boulder down there. You take it up here, perhaps? Lazalfos. There's a pond over here. I mean, my guess would be the pond, but... There's really nothing to suggest that a rock needs to go there, either. So. Also, another pond? Where, where am I? Oh, just the Akala Wilds? Okay. I've kind of been in this area before because I know I went to Skull Lake at one point. Why is this mad lad? Oh, wait. We already helped. I think we helped this guy. Yeah, no, he was holding. He was freaking holding a sign up over here. Like, are you kidding me? That is insane. Is there.
Uh, my vehicle's flying away without me. Oh, man. Maybe I should just let that one go. I'm kind of, kind of curious. Oh, is this actually a cave? Oh, wow. That's, I would not have guessed this to be a cave. Honestly, this is a very creative cave location. Because seeing a hole at the top of a spire like that, my first thought is not just cave. Tulin's arrows just break that ore? His arrows are way stronger than I gave him credit for. Alright, squad. You know what to do. Bomb flower, the rarest mineral of all. Oh no. And they really want me to uh, go through several layers for a bubble frog, don't they? Whatever, I guess I'll just tank one of these. I don't know why arrows work on those guys. They really shouldn't, but... Oh, I have his head. Hey guys, I don't care about fighting the skeletons. Let's uh, just go over here. Miss. Miss. Hey, I, I am uh, terrible. I hear the bubble of frogs, so this might be the end of the cave. No, 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 squad, I need you. Bring a bubble frog. I guess I could go try and trade with Colton again, but I just don't feel like he's gonna have anything I want. I don't know where the problem is, just like his inventory is just not appealing and you have to, you're at his whim, so, you know. It just makes for a frustrating experience. Oh. Ooh, okay, this might present an opportunity. Switch my... Goodness, I'm... Right, okay. There we go. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. That said, I'm going to need up the firepower if I want it to be useful. I think the one I saw had triple the amount of barrels I have. Mine cost 27, I think that one cost 81, so I'll have to just triple, triple it up a bit. Nothing worthwhile. Bunch of hot garbage. Yikes. Or for something a little better, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I've gotten to the point where most drops are disappointing. I mean, at least in the depths, you can get 20 crystallized charges, which can be exchanged for, you know, zone eye parts, but. Oh, wait, there's there's actually uh some. uh Oh, there's some armor down here. This was actually a worthwhile cave. I'm going to go ahead and recant about half of what I just said. So let's go ahead and uh, get here. What armor we have for us? Please don't be something I already have. Not amiibo armor, so... Okay, I take that back. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, why do I say things? At this point, that's just 600 rupees, which, you know, rupees are good, because I can finally finish upgrading my uh, diamond earrings, but...
Well, I mean, I did find some loot, so I can't complain too much about that. I didn't realize the Fierce Deity pieces were above ground and not in the depths, so... Is this really all this... Wait, is that a... I think... Yeah, I came from that... Wait, there's actually a Topaz on the ground. I should probably go get that. But that's also another path I can take to get out of here, so I think I'll do that. There might be some more secrets or something. I don't know. Or more ore. I don't want to miss. Cool. Hey, diamond. I needed that. I need one more diamond. Okay. You know what? This cave was worth it just for finding that diamond. Because I can buy the last diamond, so that's not an issue. Not to mention I can go sell some of the uh, duplicate amiibo armor I have, which I think is just the Fierce Deity helmet right now, but... I th did we loop back around now? I think we did. Honestly, oh wait, was it? Oh wait, the bubble, that's right. The bubble frog was the one in the enclosed thing. So I, okay, I already, right. Okay, let's go back to the depths and go here, get my armor prize and see what we got. Anyone who may be watching, whether it be live or, you know, uh, in the archive, hopefully you're having a good day so far. Always got to appreciate those days as you get them, because not every day can be a good day, unfortunately. But hopefully you're having a good time, whether I'm just background noise or giving you some ideas for your own Tears of the Kingdom playthrough. That said, get out of here. That wasn't a bad escape plan. Yeah, I'll just hold that. It's funny because I've I've got the the Helian shield. And I have not used it once because I'm just like oh I don't want to I don't want to use it. If I use it, then I I'll have a hard time getting it again. Like I already know how you get it back, and it's not really it doesn't really motivate me to want to use it. Especially when I have a lot of like 60, 65 shields I can get easily. So. Maybe it's just a me issue, but. Oh. Oh, wait. Alright, back to the drawing board. Go up, up, up. Go back the other way and hopefully get our prize. I really hope it's some of the uh, of the wild set because that's the only set I don't have from a scanning. So I got the pants of the wild. So that's something. Almost back around. So my whole rocketing, uh, my whole rocket strat there was just kind of not a great idea. This has been a fun little detour stream, I guess. Um, I haven't really done, like, I haven't really had a major goal aside from just kind of building something with the vehicle uh, part that I found, and that was basically it. But aside from that, it, you know, just kind of a random stream. Not really an exploration stream, just kind of... Eh, maybe it was an exploration stream in disguise. Didn't really think it was going to be one, but... That's kind of what happens when you have very few goals in a stream. It just it kind of ends up like this. Okay, should be good to clear that. There's a boss down here. I do need to fight some foxes. I also need to re-roll my bows, because they're all almost dead, I think. Yeah, they certainly are. My new ones.
I guess I could go do that. Oh, hello. Oh, good job. Oh, no, 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 no. Try to get another robot. Anyway, that happened. Where is this? I did, oh, it's in the middle of the tree. Yeah. So yeah, that's not the... Usually I don't, like, look inside the tree grows to uh, find stuff, so... That's how I missed it. Really? Oh, man. An item I get, like, literally hundreds of. That one's still new, too. I, well, I, okay. I need to clear this from my inventory, so that's kind of the biggest reason I need to exchange it. Let's get rid of that one. I know. Well, that's got to be one of the more disappointing chests, unfortunately, but... Still got to be a couple of those that I haven't found yet, but... No, no, no. And Triant Grove, so let's get out of here. So I'm in desperate need of re-rolling my bow, so I might I might just do that at the, since this is the end of the stream. Yeah. I don't know what else I'll do, because honestly I don't have a lot more planned for today, so I just kinda wanted to mess around with the vehicle building. In hindsight, I probably should have, uh, I probably should have done a little bit more with the side quest or something, but. Or, or had more parts ready for the, uh, building, because, you know, having more parts to work with would have made it a much more, uh, interesting experience. I think it's in Zonite. Oh, crap. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Gonna set off an explosion. That aggro them on me or not? Can't hurt anybody, but I just had it the zone because I saw it and I'm in desperate need of it. So another zone I mine. Night. edging a line here. I could get them all down here and then just run up there and rob them blind. It'd be great, but I don't think they're going to fall for that. Thing tells me. This is honestly not a very ideal mine for, you know, robbing it. Ah, friends, you need to stop. Just trying to grab my spoils here. So some of those uh, Bobokins have their, you know, armor and stuff down, so I'm kind of wondering if um, the explosion I did earlier damaged them, but it didn't count it because, uh... Oh, that might have counted. Yeah, hurry up and get out of here. I'm on the timer now. Cool and get out of here. Yeah, the, the music changed to the aggro music, so there might they might be on me. Maybe, just maybe. This, oh yeah, right. This is island. Zoro's, uh, Zoro's domain's a little more up that way. Oh wait, that might be the ruins from the uh, story. Right. Okay. Well, anyway, to let's go ahead and turn off our spear friend real quick. I was, I was Inoba down there. That's kind of weird. 
Everyone go away. Okay, let's go ahead and re-roll the bows and hopefully get some good stuff on them. Honestly, I more than re-rolling, I just need to get the health back up on them. Because most of my Lionel bows are uh, like one hit away from dying, so... I warp to the right one? I usually warp to... Oh, that might be it, actually. Or no, I usually start from the top of the mountain, that's what it is. God. Alright, game. Have any fun. Go up here. Oh, I don't... Why is this here? I could not tell you why there's a chest there. I must have marked it early on for some reason and just never bothered to get rid of it. Oh, yeah, okay. okay, so we fly down and start our reroll journey. Don't have access to Tulin because I turned him off so he wouldn't murder my new Octorok friends. Let's have fun with it. Whee! Ow. Can I grind on the rail? That might be fun. Hey. Aw, oh, man. Already? Valuable minerals. Get one more diamond, that'd be great. Cave I haven't opened. Sting. Uh, what do I want to mark for? I mean, I haven't really used this one yet, so I'll mark that for the cave. But I'm not going to do that right now, so. Anyway, let's go ahead and... I have a three? I do. Okay. So I'll do this little run real quick. Hopefully reset most of my items and uh, maybe get some decent rolls. Here's open. The annoying thing is I can't really uh, re-roll my, um, my silver Lionel Blade, so it creates a need for me to go back to the Coliseum every so often to get some more stuff. I got a five shot first try. I was very lucky. Actually, I need to Come on. go ahead and I guess I'll use his own eyeball. That one needs to die. Snake strike you. Not gonna give me anything? That was a waste of time. I guess because you see you can only save the person once. I guess that's how it works, but anyway, moving along. Uh there's another one. Okay, yeah. That first one's just so far away from the rest of them, it's not even funny. Huh. I don't even know why I'm trying to ride the rail when I have a three uh, level 3 speed boost, but 
Maybe because I'm just trying to have fun with the mechanics. Let's go ahead and drop a drop the next damage. Well, actually, they're both free damage. Let's drop this one first. This was a pretty good roll, so let's see what we get this time. Did I, I got two fives in a row? That's insane. I'm expecting to get nothing but quick shot for the remainder of my time on this mountain. Cause that's insane luck to get two of that. Cause it makes it from where it shoots three arrows to five arrows, and that's just insanely OP. Okay, third time. No way, right? I have to rename the VOD if this happens. Where'd it go? Oh my god. <laughs> Three in a row. I got. I have four five-shot bows. That is insanity. So I. I think. I mean, I was already pretty OP before that, but now I'm just like a walking tank. When I when I get to fighting again at the end of my adventure here, it's going to be um, going to be very one-sided. I'd imagine with all my new tools and uh, knowledge of the game. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun time. Now I gotta re-roll the new bows, so we'll re-roll this one. Oh wait, it'll give it to me four times in a row, right? Okay, that's good. I like that. Honestly, it's just insane I got it three times in a row when I tried re-rolling on this mountain several times and it uh, would not give it to me. Can you pop your head out again? Okay, plan bait. <laughs> All I wanted to do. Who's the next one? Oh, yeah, this is the one where I gotta jump off and uh, rendezvous over that. Uh, in that uh, open area. <laughs> Fire lizard. I'm really just waiting for this shield to break already. Honestly, it might be a little bit faster if I run and then get on the minecart. So, what a complete waste of time. It is if I do that, though. Good to heal, right? It does heal, but I don't want to waste my speed boost, so I'm gonna keep going. I gotta jump. Wait, can I? No, I gotta. I gotta jump at the, the junction up here. Is that? That's oh, a mushroom. So I go up the ramp here, jump off, and then continue down the mountain. The tire is always just rolling if you pass by here. Honestly, I haven't done this, uh, Reroll in a while because you know my bows are were in pretty good shape before this, so I never really had to. But you know, it's been a while, so here's a good time to uh, fix up my equipment a little bit. I don't really need to do it too much, but I need to do some maintenance on it. Let's go ahead and drop. Uh, probably the only one that I haven't rerolled yet. This one right here. Uh, three, a uh, four attack power? That's okay. That's the weakest one I've gotten so far. I'll definitely reroll that one. That's not even worth doing. Okay. Uh, it's a dead ahead. 
Sorry, I forgot the path a little bit, so I had to uh, refresh myself. I've only done this like maybe this might be my third time doing it, so a little um a little hazy on it. I need to. That's only a short walk, but I don't really want to Let's go too slowly. Okay, attempt number two with this bow. There's actually a lot of lizards here. Uh, yes. Uh, durability is good. I mean, I have four five shot bows and two, two of them have durability, so. Oh, wait, I need to. I probably should patch up my uh, bone eye bow next because it's uh, almost dead. Who knows? I could get a good enchant on that, so. Uh, which way do I go? Yeah, I go toward the river, which is this way. How do I get over it? Did I just climb up here, maybe? I thought I had a better route in mind, but maybe not. Wait, did I ever open this? Really, I did, right? Okay, cool. I guess I can throw that away later. So I think I should probably get a... I've been thinking about what to do with my Korok seeds. I think I might go for another bow, because honestly I have a decent amount of um, storage space for my weapons, but... I don't know. I definitely seem like I get more... Um, I get more... Or whenever I'm like shopping or whatever, or like scanning amiibo, I, I seem like I have less bow space, but... I'm getting my shield storage base is also an option. So. Honestly, this path doesn't seem like the one I remember, but maybe I took. Well, I climbed up that way. Anyway. Got. Oh, I got the same upgrade. That's cool. It's gonna make me bust up your home. Honestly, I don't know what to re-roll now. Actually, I could re-roll this. It's a royal weapon, so it might have some... Uh, Good enhancements in the store. I don't have a lot I can reroll because um, I can't reroll the amiibo weapon, so it comes. It really comes down to rerolling like one of the few other weapons I have. I think I've rerolled all my bows how I want them to. I could, well, I actually don't know if I can heal up my Seabree shield. The night shield, not bad, I guess. Okay. Well, yeah, let's reroll this. Why not? Actually hurt. I'll oh, just up attack. That's not. Eh, that's not really worth. Well, I should probably. Re I could reroll that one, I guess. <laughs> Gotta grab that lizard. Had I seen it, but. What's up, buddy? You clearly don't see me, but uh, I'm sure you can do me a favor. That's not the one I wanted. Drop uh, this guy here. I should test to see if I can re-roll the uh, other thing, but...
Durability. You know what? That's a pretty good one for that. <clears throat> okay. At least I can now experiment with my uh, flux core pounders and see if I can reroll those. I should have three more up here. Um, I know one of them's kind of iffy, so it might just be two more. Guess we'll find out how, uh, how many rolls I got. I can get over there without a. Uh... I'd say he's not even worth breaking. Hey, yeah, yeah. Let's get out of here. I think I that was a Korok camp. I should have already done that one. Yeah, yeah. I think I did that the second or first time I was here. I had to have. Okay, now we're gonna try and reroll the uh, Flux Core Pounder I have, because I don't think this has a traditional buff on it, so. Looks like it got a buff. Okay. Okay, it's got durability. That's pretty good. So we can reroll the other one to see what I can get on that. I just had some uh, knight swords from the. Uh, yeah, I think there's supposed to be one here, but I'm not seeing it, so it might be wrong. I think I just need to delete that pen. Drop. This is the one. Anything is better than nothing, so I'm not gonna be too. Big, but... Okay. Yeah, a little bit of attack. That's. I mean, that's fine. Okay. Woohoo! There we go. I was wondering when that was gonna break. Out time. Uh, I, should, uh, I meant to re-roll my zone eye shield, but I completely forgot. I'm also out of minecart shields, which I need to do something about that while I'm here. Uh, minecarts. Where's my? I know there's minecarts over here, so I'll go grab some real quick. Minecart shields are very important for navigation. At least for me. I don't know about other players, but... Uh, I should probably hit up my mine spot, because I haven't done that in a while. Ooh, a diamond! Alright, that was worth it. I have enough to upgrade that now. I can go over to the uh, Great Fairy. Okay, I saw one fly out. Yeah, Hiroblins, you can leave me alone. Not interested. There are a couple of minecarts over this way, which I'm gonna go grab. More over here. I wonder if you can use the time stop on a uh, animal like that. Probably not, but it might be worth checking in. Checking on. Have a durability. I guess, yeah, actually, this is durability. Well, at least I didn't have to buy any diamonds today, so that's good. You run from me, huh? Lizards. The minecart should be enough for. My goodness. I forgot how much ore was in this area, even though I have it all marked and everything. I haven't really been here since I finished uh, upgrading my stuff that needed amber. I think it was the. Uh... I know I need it for the the Hylian pants, but that wasn't my primary reason for getting it. Oh, yeah, it was the amber earrings. Oh. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, that's fine. That was a trash weapon anyway. This gives me more room to uh, get some more stuff next time I play. Goodness, there are lizards everywhere. Okay, I think we're all squared here. Um, I think I should be down the mountain. Okay, final, uh, final objective here. I swear, every time I try and find my great fairy spot, I just lose it. Right here. Okay. I really should leave some kind of better marker. Because every time I try and find that area on the map, I just cannot find it. There's just something about the geography looking very similar in that area. I guess it's just all mountainous on the uh, east side of the map. Alright, I gotta turn on to one again. Honestly, though, I was very, I'm very happy with my results in the, uh, uh, re-rolls. We got re-rolls. Like, I was not expecting it to go that well. Because I think the last time I did it, I got a bunch of trash rolls to the point where I had to keep re-rolling the same item several times until I got something decent. Because I kept getting quick shot, and quick shot's like a borderline useless ability to have on a bow. At least for me, anyway. I mean, I'm sure there's some people who swear by it's the best ability ever, but compared to like five shot or durability, it's just like very, very lackluster. Mm. Mm. Can I upgrade this? I should probably upgrade this one. If I upgrade this one, I can combine it with some other stuff. I need to sell this one though. Where my diamond ear? Ah. Mm. <laughs> ah. Mm. Mm. So the diamond circlet is just as strong as the uh, amber earrings. Honestly, though, I don't think the Amber Earrings have any base uh, or, like, passive abilities. So it might just be better to use the Diamond Circlet from now on. Going back to what I was wondering about. I need I need to upgrade the, the boots most honestly. Need another Denril. You know, I should probably go get Denril real quick. Ah. Mmm. I'm probably gonna need the the dragon horns for the next part of the fierce deity chest, I would imagine. Actually, oh, I can do it. Oh, I need nature's horn, which I already have. Awesome, this is done. Honestly, the Lionel guts are way easier because I've been fighting so many Lionel. The the Henox was a real like choke point for this upgrade because like I never fight Henox. Okay, so the Fierce Deity is fully upgraded. This one I still have to upgrade, and I need more Henox for that, unfortunately. Fortunate. But, that could be fun to use later. Oh yeah, I guess I could upgrade this too, but... Oh, I need Gibdo parts. Oh man, that's gonna be another choke point. So, Dinroll. Dinroll is the fire dragon, I think, right? That looks like the light dragon. That's the ice dragon. What do I need from the ice dragon? Oh, man. If I, need, if I know what I need from the ice dragon, go get it real quick. If 
I had to guess, I'm probably gonna need each of the dragon parts for the the wild set, but Let me upgrade these two. Oh wait, I need nature scales for this the snow boots too. Give dough bones for that one. I can't remember if I could buy the Captain Construct parts, but be handy to know. So the mask needs Denral, pants need Farage, but this one needed Nadra, so I don't need Nadra for that upgrade. Denral for this one. That's all I need. Oh wait, I need Nadra scale. Okay, I do need Nadra scale for the snow boots, so I'll, I'll go take care of that. <laughs> Where's the dragon? direction is that <laughs> running low on zone I again okay I need major scale general scale and it's probably about it for for now now the fierce deity is gonna ask for something else later, but in terms of immediate need, just the scale of Denral and uh, Nadra. It's kind of weird how the dragons are named. Like they obviously tried to do like Den, Nehru, and Ferrore, like um, the goddesses that made uh, Hyrule, or at least in the original lore. I don't know if that still holds up, but. They had that, um, they had them, like, create the world and whatnot, and they were even characters in the, the Oracle games, uh, all three of them. With the Oracle of Seasons having Den, or Den and the Oracle of Ages having Nehru, and Ferrara was just, like, a, a character in both of them, but I think she was, like, the, the password character or something? It's been a while. But it would be cool this, if they do decide to do a third one of these games, they, like, go into the lore of how the these dragons came to be, because now we know how Zelda became uh, one of the dragons. Um, it'd be cool to know how the others, you know, came to be as dragons. Like, you know, they obviously had to have had the power stone and ingested themselves. So. Uh, where would Denral be? Let's see. I think that's a Korok right there, too. I'm gonna try and hit that up once I'm done with this, uh... ...subquest here. <laughs> yep, that's definitely a Korok. But honestly, it'd be, I think it'd be really neat to see another Zelda game that has uh, her features like Gen, Nehru, and Ferrore. As actual, like, characters, too. Because, I mean, that seems like the best concept for another, uh, like, if they do another Breath of the Wild game, if they you know, decide they want to do that. Maybe not, because these, uh, the development cycle for these games have, have been, like, you know, pretty extensive. But you never know. Nintendo likes money, so they might, with how successful these games have been, they might... You know, try and do a third one. I find out where that other one is. Are we?
should have it separated by set. Yes, I do. But I don't get the set bonus, so I'm not using it. Charge attack stamina. Okay. Gotcha. I was wondering if I could stack it with the um, other stuff, but I guess you can't get a set bonus without using the entire set in some capacity. I should look into what I need to upgrade the uh, soldier grease, but oh, a star piece. Fire dragon somewhere. I got a death mountain. Look around. I like how I said I was going to end the stream like you know, 20 minutes ago. I'm still going just on random stuff. Sometimes it's nice to have a stream without a plan where you just kind of do whatever. This game is like the perfect game for that too. Just because there's, you can just do whatever. See something interesting, just go toward it. But like that's just how it's designed to play, so. See a fire dragon. The fire dragon might have gone underground, so I might just be out of luck here for the moment. I like how the star piece is still over there, because I saw that one fall in Kakariko, and it's still there. It's a pretty impressive detail. I can check around the area. Should I? I should wear Majora. I don't want to have them lobbing crap at me. Yeah, I think the fire dragon's underground. Man. Got a little bit of fire there, but I think we're good. Oh, Noctrox up here? Really? I mean, it's not really in a farmable location. What? Maybe. That's a honestly, I think it's probably not worth it because it would shoot your weapon or whatever you re-rolled off the mountain. You have to go find it. That's probably why that one wasn't listed anywhere from the uh, guides. I think I need to re-roll that zone I shell before I use it again, so I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, I'm seeing no dragons. Fortunate. Yeah, there's another Octorok. That one's just too much of a risk to even try and use, honestly. Also, hold on a minute. Did I delete that? No, I need, okay, I need to delete this one. This one is definitely not there. I've checked twice and it is nowhere to be seen, believe it or not. Wait, did I do that one? I think I did. I need to reroll this shield anyway, so. I reroll. Yeah, let's reroll this one. This one actually isn't on my map, so I could fix that. Oh, well, he did re-roll it. I good thing it that happened before, uh, you know, buddies killed it, but... Uh, well, I need to mark this one on my map, then. This one actually wasn't on my map. It's still within the normal pathing, so... Okay, well, I have one more re-roll to do now. Wasn't even the best re-roll, either, but... Certainly something. Ooh. 
Ooh, okay. So we got ourselves a strong enemy down there. Oh, there's also a Korok over here. Korok. Korok, Korok. Oh, it's literally right here. Oh, another diamond. Very nice. Anyway, I'm going to uh, try and super kill that enemy uh, with style. So. Hopefully it'll work out. Schematics. It's probably gonna kill my remaining uh, inventory here, but. Honestly, don't know if I can uh, afford to do this the way I want to, but. Uh, let's go ahead and schematic it. Okay, actually... My Zonite reserves are pretty low, so I have to have a set of three to make this super bomb. I have to have like a one... A I have to do this three times, so if I do it now, it's going to ruin the entire thing. I have to go away. Now without it. I don't think it's possible. And all right. I blow up from the heat, honestly. work the way I wanted it to. Oh, man. Hey, I did something. Come on. I'm surprised I haven't killed this one already. I do have some of that. Better bow. That should be fun. I need to get a better weapon equipped too. Not like a perfect weapon, but like something I can do some hits with. Also, I'm using Majora's Mask, which I probably shouldn't have been doing, but. A lot of, uh, stones. Cool. Cool. Uh, do I, I do have some fusion water I can use here. Yeah, let's do that. Not the best, but, you know, I'm not trying to get premium materials for all my fused weapons, so... Whatever, it works. I also wasted a lot of zonite, so I have to go mine zonite yet again. Let's go back up. I should, right? I think there's one I can actually reach. Yeah. I think I've definitely been here before, though. Yeah, I definitely have. Nothing interesting here, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Anyway. It's good. about time to start wrapping up here. Well, uh, overall, it was a pretty fun um, exploration stream. Didn't really have a specific goal, but you know, I got to play around with the uh, vehicles for a bit and just kind.
kind of walked around without worrying about shrines or anything, so. We had a pretty good time, and hopefully you guys did too. It was nice playing this game, because I, for the, probably the longest amount of time I haven't played this game since it came out, actually. I think I played this game, like, at least a couple times a week um, since it came out, but I didn't really, or I didn't play it for, like, three days, which is a lot for me right now. <laughs> Anyway, um, anyone who might be watching live or the archives, uh, thanks again for watching and supporting me. Um, if you're not already following me on Twitch, uh, feel free to. Or if you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel where the archives uh, are uploaded as soon as stream's over. This one will be going live soon. Um, but um, yeah, thanks again and until next time.